Hey, good evening, everybody. I hope everyone, I trust that everyone can hear me. I'm getting signals here at Boston College that you can hear. My name is Tom Wesner, and I am the faculty director of the Catalyst Program in the Carroll School of Management at Boston College. And I extend a warm welcome to all of <coughs> Excuse me. A warm welcome <coughs> to parents. <coughs> Excuse me. And friends of the school and non-BC students and their parents who might be considering attending. Um, we're coming up on our 11th year of the Catalyst program. And so I can say, you know, and I've been part of it since the very beginning, we have had over 700 students successfully complete. And it's a program that's a real game changer for virtually every student that takes the program. And we'll walk you through a, a quick PowerPoint in a few minutes. Our goal is to be done with the presentation around 625. And depending on the questions and uh, our assistant director of the program, Ali Asales is here with me. She's gonna be managing the, the chat. Uh, we'll try to answer as many questions as we can. And if there are any that kind of deserve to be heard and responded to uh, by me to everyone, Ali will inform me of that. And so in a minute, I'll start a, a presentation and a concise overview of the program uh, by sharing some slides. So feel free, please to add questions to the chat. Um, and please follow up with us uh, with the emails at catalyst at bc.edu. You'll see that email on the PowerPoint on most, if not all of the pages. Uh, and so again, just in terms of the big picture and the context, uh, this program was started so that we could be a bridge to the non-business students at Boston College and all know that we also have a school of nursing, we have a school of education, and we have the Morrissey College of Arts and Sciences. We've had students from all of those schools who really just kind of wanna check out business and learn about the functional basic areas of business. Uh, what is fundamentals of finance? What is you know accounting? What is marketing? What what is my path to a career look like? How might I find my way into consulting? And so with uh, 11 years now coming up, 10 years under our belt, the program has really been a game changer for virtually all students who have taken it. So Catalyst was designed to provide an opportunity for liberal arts students to become familiar with the world of work and to think about themselves in different careers. Um, a, a decent, strong percentage of our students, about 70%, decide to pursue a minor in the Carroll School of Management. And so before the value, I think one of the real values of Catalyst is before students march into Fulton Hall and just say, I'm going to declare a minor in finance or accounting or marketing or one of our other minors, they can at least have some exposure to what those courses would, would look like how they would feel, whether it really is for them. And so that's a real clear, distinct advantage of the program before they just declare a minor. And so no matter what type of work our students eventually pursue, we all know, right, that knowing the fundamentals of business and the language of business uh, will really help them. And employers love BC students, right? They love BC students. They're always complimenting us. And Catalyst graduates always report, constantly report to us that employers who they end up interviewing with, who recruit heavily on campus, will note on their resumes that it says Marcy College typically and Carroll School of Management. And that becomes a distinct talking point that lets our graduates talk about their, their motivation, their curiosity, and how committed they are as young people to summer coursework, which, you know, coming here for eight weeks in the summer demonstrates tenacity and curiosity to a significant degree. So it's a wonderful opportunity for students to send, spend eight weeks on the campus, seeing the beautiful campus in the summertime. They don't have to wait in line for, you know, equipment and the gym, right, and the recplex. And they really make friends and they can live on campus and see, sightsee around Boston and becomes a real summer of enrichment and a summer of learning with value. So welcome aboard. I'm going to move through the 
the slides now. So here's how we're going to go. Just a quick program overview, the structure of the program, the effect on a student's transcript. And then again, as we proceed, you can please enter in questions into the chat. So what does the program look like and what are the dates? The program runs from May 22nd, which is two days after our university commencement, through July 12th. So in terms of parents uh, and student planning, students who are in a dorm, they have to move out. They have to vacate. And housing is controlled by summer housing. They're their own office. We don't control that office. And so students would pack their stuff and typically go home for a week. And uh, then they would move back in. The move-in day is May 21, the day after university commencement. Okay, we, we're an in-person program. During COVID, we had a remote option, but we, we do not have a remote option anymore. So what we do is we meet four days a week, typically Tuesday through Friday. We meet from 9.30 to 11.45 is the first class in the morning, and then 12.30 to 2.45. We meet four days a week for eight weeks. Um, we have mini breaks, Memorial Day, Juneteenth. The 4th of July, we allow our students, we give the students a little break, which they need around then before exams, a four-day break over the 4th of July weekend. And so uh, it's a rigorous program, but the students really enjoy their three-day weekends. I assure you, they need it. It's a lot of work. For parents, when they think about, you know, sort of the value proposition, uh, and that's critical to think about, it's an 11-credit program. So a typical full-time semester at Boston College is 15 credits. So 11 credits, uh, 72, 73% of a full semester is taken in half the time in eight weeks instead of 15 or 16, including exam weeks. So it's a lot of work. And five hours of class a day is a lot of work. So the students are busy. They're very busy. Uh, but again, four day, uh, sorry, three day weekends, you know, really helps. Um, the professors in the program are super high energy. They've all taught in the program multiple years. All of our teachers are full-time faculty in the Carroll School of Management. There are other programs, you know, out there around. And I think one of the distinct advantages of our program is that all of our professors are full-time year-round faculty members who teach, you know, a lot and who are high energy and highly qualified and excellent teachers and who love teaching and Catalyst and love Catalyst, right? And so it's a different experience as a teacher when we're teaching non-business students because students, and I teach in the, I teach law in the program as well. Students who enter the program are curious, right? They're not here because they have to be here, right? They're here because they want to be here. And so there's a sort of energy in the room that's uh, really, really fun and hopeful. And it's about the joy of learning. And so it's just, it's kind of a, a nice break from, the traditional academic calendar where a lot of the core classes are classes students have to take. So even though all of our students at BC are, are exceptional, uh, the energy in the summer is particularly, particularly nice um, and, and, and a joy. It's a joy to teach our students in the summer. So students will take three full courses, uh, three credits each, and that'll get them to nine. And uh, they take two mini courses, or what we call modules. These are one credit courses. Uh, and these courses are, I'll say more about it in a minute, but Excel and a career planning course. Uh, so here they are in the next slide. The three full courses are financial accounting, marketing principles, and they take either. Students get to elect their one choice during the summer is to choose between fundamentals of finance or business law. And so those two courses meet at the same time when they meet. And so students can opt for one or the other. Uh, and all three, three credit courses count towards a Carroll School of Management minor. Uh, and so to, to get a minor, a student would need to take six courses. And so, the value that students talk about is, hey, I took this program and I ended up knocking out half of my minor in eight weeks. And so, and I learned a lot and I learned what I don't want to do. I learned what accountants do. 
I learn what marketing professionals do, but I want to be in a, you know, in finance. I want to pursue my finance minors. So there's a lot of advantage. Uh, it's a lot of benefit for a student who can, who has the discipline to join us for eight weeks. We also, in addition to the three, three credit courses, the two, one credit courses, the first is the career skills module. And that's taught by our career uh, faculty. And what they do is they help students build a LinkedIn profile. They work on their resumes. They work on their cover letter. They work on an elevator speech. You know, like what do I, what would I tell a C-suite executive if I was describing, you know, why I chose to go to Boston College or why I'm seeking a career in consulting right out of the gate. Bam. What is it? And they work on that. Right? They work on shaping a resume. We take uh, our career staff, help our students take headshots, professional photos that they put in their LinkedIn profile. You know, resume writing, sharpening it up, and then and then adding management and adding business to the resume is something students really work hard to do when they work together on that. Another, frankly, a joy of the career module for me is that all of our career panelists for the past six, seven years have been Catalyst alumni, found their way into business and in careers in finance and private equity and banking and technology and accounting, you name it, our students work in those areas. And these are philosophy majors, right? These are students with history majors, political science majors, English majors, bio majors, Lynch School of Education and Human Development majors. Right, uh, a couple of nurses every year come. They want to go into healthcare administration. They really learn the language of business, and so the career module is a wonderful opportunity to network with young. We call them gold, right? Graduates of the last decade, younger BC alumni who took Catalyst, who most likely were in the Marcy College, and who found their way into a career, and they come back and share their wisdom with our current students. Now, the, ex the Excel module uh, is really just what it sounds like. We teach uh, students pivot tables and how to present data, how to make charts, right? How to present, how to make a report that's both kind of qualitative and that includes quantitative components to speak to the different audiences that they'll run into in the world of work. And so students find that the module, both of those modules have a lot of value and they continue to practice and use Excel uh, in their career skills, but it's time that we're able to spend the students in the summer. And again, in, in a way, you know, uh, they get the best of what the Carroll School has because we don't otherwise have, you know, 2,500 students here as we do during the regular year or more, you know, to manage. Uh, we have just our Catalyst students typically in the summer, so they get a lot of attention. Um, so again, here's the breakdown. Um, 11 credits, the three courses. Uh, one question coming in is um, the career module. Those are pass fail. Uh, so those are not, students don't receive a grade for those, but they do receive a grade for the other three courses that they're taking. And that will, of course, affect their GPA. Um, what students typically like is they say to us, that's all I have to do. You know, I just have to do my three classes and my modules during the summer. Whereas when they're here during the school year, they're in clubs, they're working out all, you know, they're going out with friends, they're having fun in their clubs and their activities and listening to speakers and seeing concerts. And the busyness of the, the academic life is really not the same in the summer. So students really find they go into the library after class, they sit together. Uh, they make friends, they make friends with students in other class years. And it's remarkable how seniors, rising seniors will work with and become friends with rising sophomores, for, for example. And usually on campus, that doesn't happen as frequently. It happens, certainly. But Catalyst is a chance for everybody to get to know each other and hang out together and learn from each other. And it's a, it's a, it's a wonderful thing to see that happen. Uh, so again, one credit for the career module and one credit for Excel, pass, fail. Uh, I think I covered the effect on transcripts. We know our students are conscientious. Uh, one of the things that I tell colleagues at BC that are new 
and that I think is is maybe great for parents or friends to hear, you know, is that uh, like a newer faculty member would say, well, the student's a little quiet. What's going on? Um, I say, well, you know, everyone we teach was in the top 10 in their high school class. You know, many were valedictorians. These are the best kids from their high schools. They're givers, they're contributors, they're student council members, they're newspaper editors, they're captains of sports. Even if they're quiet and maybe a little introverted, every BC student is excellent. And so uh, challenge them, right? Hold them to a high standard, you know, get to know them, push them. BC students will, will respond. And you put them in a room together, magical things happen. And so our students work really hard. And their grades are, you know, their GPAs are important to them. And so uh, Catalyst is no different. The students work hard. And their summer GPA is factored in. The summer grades are factored into their overall GPA. No surprise, as it should be. And at the end of Catalyst, uh, we have a graduation ceremony. We actually have a few field trips. Um, we have the first week, we have a ropes course kind of a bonding day. We take them out on buses out to a ropes course. We have pizza Fridays. Uh, we have speaker lunches. Last year, we had the head of our endowment speak. We had the director, the dean of our admission office speak. We had a research librarian speak, teach students how to do industry research and SWOT analyses and look for industry reports and, and look, up, look up company research before they go on interviews. Um, so there's these get-together opportunities, lunches, breakfasts, things that we have, um, speakers, and then the career panels. So all of those things, you know, lead to uh, an end with a with an award ceremony, a certificate ceremony where students who have passed all of our course requirements will receive a, a, a completion, uh, a certificate of completion at the end. Uh, and so parents would say, naturally, what are the costs, right? This is an investment. Uh, and the cost, you can see here on this slide, maybe you're driving in a car and you can't see it. It's 15800 is the cost for the summer. And that includes uh, the 11 credits, their books, and their learning materials, and all the events that students attend, lunches, pizza Fridays. In our program, it wouldn't be a surprise to many parents. In our program review at the end of the summer, one of their favorite events is Pizza Fridays, right? Students like when we bring them their favorite pizza on Friday. Uh, in the program uh, evaluations at the end of the summer, consistently report that 80, 90, 95% of students would either strongly or, you know, or definitely recommend the program to a friend or a relative. Uh, we have a lot of data on that, confirming the value of the program. And most students who apply to Catalyst know a friend who, who has taken the program and benefited from it and, and would speak highly about it. So a 5,100 is the cost. And there are a lot of uh, little events during that eight weeks. Housing costs are not included, as mentioned earlier. The Office of you know Summer Housing is its own little enterprise. They have to clean the dorms, they have to paint dorms, they have to re, you know update dorms and move furniture around. They decide when students come in and out. The Carroll School of Management um, doesn't control summer housing. And so if a student wants to live in camp on campus, they can do so. A, a dormitory will be available typically on lower, just about always on lower campus which generally means an air-conditioned room with a small kitchen, and it's either 2K, 2000 Com Ave, or uh, Mute. Last year, students went right on Com Commonwealth Ave, right outside of our main gate, quick walk to the campus. They loved that dorm. We don't control what dorm they're put in, but the, the summer managers know that the students need to be on campus every day, you know, four days a week for classes. The cost is $30 per night, and that is, comes out to roughly $1,800. I don't know that a decision has been made yet on the per diem, the per night rate, but we assume it's probably around what it was last year. And then the last bullet on this page is, states that a limited number of need-based scholarships are available. So this is a BC policy. If a student receives aid from Boston College, 
they would be eligible to receive aid from the Catalyst program, but they need to get their applications in. Basically, the financial aid applications close, uh, you know, in a few days. We, we ask that those be submitted in the first week of February. And if a student does not receive aid from Boston College, they're not uh, eligible to receive aid from the Catalyst program. And here is our uh, commencement, you know, like our little celebratory picture that we took last year. At the end of our graduation ceremony, uh, again, the students make friends. They interrelate very well as BC students do. BC students are social creatures. They get along well. They work hard together. They form study groups. Uh, often they're in the library at night together. We have a lot of group projects that they work on together. We have some debates and teamwork that's required. Sometimes we uh, have a student that will live locally in Eastern Mass. Um, and they might commute if they live close enough, but it turns out there is a lot of work. So most students over the course of 10 years say, it was a lot easier to live on campus or just off campus. Sometimes we have rising seniors that are in an off-campus apartment and their lease runs through August. And so they stay there or they sublease an apartment just off campus or close to campus uh, from friends or someone else they know. One little issue around living off campus, if a, if a student decides to do that, is that the BC bus does not run as frequently during the summer. So we have a bus that serves Newton campus, which many of you know, and Cleveland Circle and the surrounding area, and it just doesn't run nearly as frequently so, you know, some students bike, they ride their bike in from an off-campus apartment, uh, but many do say that in the end, it's easier to live on campus. Um, so I think I've covered just about everything. Allie, do we have any questions? That... Yeah, um, we have one question about the homework load and Catalyst versus the school year. Do you want to speak? That's a great that? question. So if you didn't hear Allie, um, Allie mentions one of the questions is, well, how do you compare and contrast the amount of homework on a daily basis to the regular school year. The students report that Catalyst is intense and it feels, many weeks feel like midterm week feels when they're full-time day students in the regular school year. That when you have a couple of midterms in one week, you're locked in. And so Catalyst can feel that way around deadlines. But I would say most of the faculty, you know, because they've taught in the program, there's a sort of rhythm to it uh, what we do is we have a weekly newsletter in the program that faculty share among each other, and then they're shared with students. So we know when other teachers in the program have midterms, and students will tell us as well. So it, it, in this respect, it might be more of a high school feel, right? The teachers in this program talk to each other, and the students pick up on that and feel really good about that because we teach together, we work together, we're in side-by-side -side classrooms and we communicate so that our midterms, for example, are not clashing, um, forcing too much work. But again, this is a demanding school, it's a demanding program and we expect students to work hard and they learn a lot. So there are just gonna be some weeks that are like that. But typically we would say, if students give a fair effort every night before they have classes, taking weekends to relax. Um, it's a fair amount of work, some three, some four hours of homework a night, three would be about reasonable to be ready for five hours of class the next day because we cover a lot and we go fast, right? 20 hours of class a week is a lot of class time. Typical class week at BC is 15 hours a week. So we do cover a lot. Um, another question, can you talk a little bit about how many applications we get and you know how competitive the program is? Yes, uh, great question. So the, the program is competitive, um, like, like everything at BC. Um, however, because most, the vast majority of our applicants are existing BC students, our students, our applicants have been pre-screened. They made it through a highly selective admission process to gain access to, to Boston College. So we see every application in the light most favorable to the applicant, right? These are BC students. So a 3.0 at BC is a good GPA, 
students are used to four point host high school, but at BC, that means darn good work. So um, the majority, the majority of the applicants are admitted to the program, the majority. But of course, like everything, as I mentioned, not every student will gain admission. Uh, we have high standards at BC, uh, but if students write their essay and, and indicate why, in what ways they contribute positively to the cohort, if they're admitted, that can that can factor in. And uh, what activities have they been involved in? Have they shown interest in being part of the community at BC? You know, do they have a good attitude? Do they really want to be here? All of that matters to the admission committee. Anything else, Ali? Uh, just one more question about um, how the courses are graded in CSUN. Mm -hmm. And so we have, um, so the question is how are courses graded? So we have a grading, um, a guide in the Carroll School of Management where it's based on the idea that not everyone can get an A, not everyone can get an A minus. Um, and so there needs to be, you know, a reasonable distribution of grades. Um, and, you know, in any, as, as a teacher, you know, and, and, and as the director of this program, um, if you have 30 students in a class, you know, 40 students in a class, 34 students, you can't give an A to everyone, even though all of our students are A quality human beings and they work hard that, you know, in any class or group of people, there's always going to be those that truly excel and truly stand out. And so that would be, you know, a, a, a reasonable number of A's, you know, a reasonable number of A minuses. And then, uh, you know, a 3.3, 3.4 GPA, an 88 or an 89 average at BC is an excellent GPA. And so it would be a normal distribution of grades. And again, in the Catalyst program, we're, we're, we're dealing with super curious students who want to be here. So they know how to work and they earn the grade that they earn. And so I think it's very fair and, and, and humane and, and a reasonable policy. And again, we're dealing with our own students here who we care deeply about their well-being and their futures. So we're not, we're not, we're not hurting any. Oh, so Allie tells me that's it. And it's 628 and respecting everyone's time and our deadline of 630. I think that, I think we wrap, we're wrapping it up. And now what we're going to do is we're going to download this recording and put it on the Catalyst website and someone could uh, listen to it again or share it. Or maybe uh, if I wasn't too boring, you could, uh, or if I was boring, you could play it at 11 at night. It could help you all <laughs> fall asleep. <laughs> but thanks all for joining us. I look forward to, and Allie joins me, and looking forward to meeting your sons and daughters. Uh, we love our students here at BC, and we hope that they consider applying to the program and spending a summer with us. And so have a great night to everybody. Thanks for tuning in.